We've just recently released a very robust agent lifecycle management solution. It leverages a smart agent that will orchestrate agent lifecycle management tasks through an enhanced user interface and or through an advanced CLI. One smart agent, unlimited agent management control. Think of this like the basic ABCs. A is for adhering to versioning compliance standards. B is for bolstering installations, upgrades, and rollback processes at scale. And C is for centralizing agent management control. Come on board as I help you streamline your agent management tasks. But before I get into that, I'd like to share one small prerequisite, and that is we must install the smart agent on any machine hosting applications that are or will be monitored. There's nothing fancy or difficult when it comes to installing the smart agent. Simply launch your console of choice and install it like you would any old agent. We even publish Debian in RPM packages, so make it super convenient or use one of our release, uh, recently released Ansible playbooks to distribute your smart agent at scale. Use the smart agent CLI to distribute it. Integrate with your existing CI/CD tooling pipeline. The choice is yours, so let's get to it. We begin on the home page. There's two ways to access agent management. You must be an administrator or have the roles-based uh, permissions. We can access it through the click of agent management in this area here or we can also click the uh, configure button and go to agent management from there. Here we have a couple links to learn more about agent management and the smart agent, but let's begin. So the two scenarios I'm referring to are that we first must understand what we're looking at. And that is that this user interface has been modified or enhanced. We see now a clear indication of the status. These are healthy. They're running the latest versions. This Java agent needs an update. There could be a new feature, a new enhancement, or a bug fix. And there are a couple other uh, statuses, such as out of compliance or out of uh, support life and unknown. So my first step is to ensure that each host has the smart agent installed. As we can see, we have a column called managed and you can see none of these hosts have that smart agent installed but we have over 1960 hosts running on this in this environment so I can apply a filter to understand which of those hosts need the smart agent installed so my first step is to ensure that all these hosts have the smart agent because i want a centralized control over my entire environment so i'll simply select unmanaged and apply and this way i know which hosts i'm going to need to install the smart agent to then be able to manage from this centralized location once the smart agents are installed i can simply flip the channel to manage and then i know I'm going to be able to manage the agents that are under smart agent control. For example, let's say uh, my scenario, my second scenario, so the first scenario was to update the hosts or in install the smart agent on these hosts. The second process for me is to remediate or mitigate any agents that are out of date or needing to be updated. For example, I have these Four Java, ho four Java agents that are out of date or have uh, updates available. I don't know what those updates are. So if I would like to get to know what those updates are, I can look over to the right-hand side here where you see updates available. And this is going to show all my agents. So I have several PHP agents out there. There's a Python agent in my environment uh, and so forth to give me a quick indication of there being an update available. Here I can see my Java agents are um, behind they're running the October release here I can see that they're running the November release and I can get a link to the release notes to get an, an indication of what exactly that update entails so I've identified these agents that need to be updated and let's say I have a need for bulk updates because that's what our ideal scenario would be we want to update all these agents at the same time so this smart agent with the enhanced user interface allows us to do a bulk upgrade here we have a bulk upgrade the simplest is just to click the default settings which means that it's going to install the latest version which is our november release it's going to download from the app dynamics portal and it's just going to reuse the existing configuration if I wanted to modify that, I can 
uh, selectively choose custom upgrade where I might want to use a different version. Now those versions that I was running were the October, but let's say I was running a September release and I didn't want to install the November release. I wanted to install one rev behind the latest. I can simply do that. If I wanted to change the configuration as well, I can do that here. But the most simple process is just to go through the update upgrade process. I'm in a lab, I can't go through that process with you, but this is a scenario where you can do mass bulk upgrades in the agent environment for those application servers. So the next thing I would want to point out is that we can also do this with machine agents. Here we can see a machine agent is out of date, meaning that it's no longer supported. We can simply do the same process, follow the same process rules. We want to apply a filter for those that are managed or unmanaged to find out which hosts we need to install the smart agent to. But in this case, we would want to do the managed agents. And again, I can do bulk upgrades for those. Um, one more thing on the application server agents, bulk upgrades are only applicable for the same agent type. So for example, I can't update a Java and a web server or a Java and a PHP at the same time or a, a Java and a node we can't update at the same time. You can see the upgrade widget uh, option goes away, it goes gets gray. There is also a smart agents tab where we have the status of our smart agents and what agents are connected to those smart agents. We see a tasks in progress. So any upgrade process that's going on, we can get an indication of what is actually running. We have a log file to help troubleshoot if things aren't working correctly. For example, under history, we can see that a couple of these installations have failed. Here we have a, a partially failed where one of these Java agents didn't get upgraded successfully. So I can open the log file which when doing so is just a text file that's gonna show that the deployment timed out, the smart agent has uh, not connected, gives us the host ID so we can actually start to troubleshoot why that agent wasn't upgraded successfully. The last thing I would like to point out is that we can also export this uh, view here. We can click export grid data and that's going to export all those agents that are under the management control to understand which um, and we can use that as an, an, an reporting uh, and another reporting utility or just to export into an Excel spreadsheet to filter additional filters. But here we do have a number of filters we can apply. For example, if we want to just look at those agents that are out of date and uh, that have updates available. We can apply that filter. We can also apply to a specific application. For example, if I manage this particular application and I want that application to um, show up just in this filtered list, I can apply applications and or tiers to narrow down my field of vision. We can also um, filter by smart agent ID, or the monitoring status, whether the monitoring status is enabled or disabled. I hope this gives you a good indication of what the smart agent with the enhanced user interface can do uh, to get started. We encourage you to uh, download the latest updates from the download portal and reach out to our sales engineers if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.